Rule Britannia. Emma, 20, lives with her elderly grandmother, Mad, short for Madam, a famous retired actress, in the small village of Poldria in Cornwall. They share a large house near the coast with Mad's six maladjusted adopted sons who range in age from 3 to 18. One morning, Emma wakes to the sound of aeroplanes overhead. An American warship has anchored in the bay and United States Marines are marching over the fields. They are trigger-happy, and one of them shoots and kills a local farmer's dog. After some hours of civil confusion, a TV announcement is made by the Prime Minister, due to recent economic and military failures on the continent, the UK and the USA have joined together as a single nation, to be called US-UK. The new government of US-UK declares a state of emergency, institutes roadblocks, and cuts local telephone and postal communication. To Matt and her family the US Marines appear less like invited friends than a hostile invading force. Andy, 12, one of Mad's adopted boys who has an obsession with bows and arrows and a hazy understanding of the concepts of right and wrong, shoots and kills one of the Marines. Matt, Emma and some of the locals cover up the death, and throw the body over the cliff into the sea. It is not found for several days, and in the absence of a culprit the military authorities crack down on the local population by cutting food, electricity and water supplies, and arresting and taking into custody all the local men and youths. Matt encourages the local farmers to an act of civil disobedience in which huge piles of rotting manure are dumped in front of the local pub where the military authorities have arranged the Thanksgiving celebrations. Shortly afterwards, there is a huge explosion which sinks the warship in the bay. Nobody knows the cause, but in a televised speech the Prime Minister hints of sabotage by unknown agents hostile to US-UK. Matt and her family retreat to their cellar, where they subsist for several days on apples and beetroot, and water from a reopened well. Early in the morning Emma and the boys are woken by aircraft and what appears to be gunfire, explosions and depth charges, while Matt sleeps on. Power has been restored, and a TV announcer states that the sinking of the American warship may have been caused by torpedo action. In any event, the security regulations have been relaxed, and the Marines are to leave the local area. A stream of helicopters flies overhead, leaving Cornwall. The local doctor arrives in his Land Rover. Emma notices Mad standing in welcome at her porch, but when she realizes that nobody else can see her she tells the doctor that he had better go down into the basement, where Mad has been asleep for a very long time. The novel concludes with the helicopters still flying eastward into the sun.